Hey guys, welcome to the weekly pep talk. So this week I wanted to talk to you about using a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball, even a baseball might work. Um, I find a lacrosse ball works best for me. Um, using a ball for myofascial release. So a lot of us, we're working out consistently, we're strength training, and sometimes our muscles get tender, they get achy, um, or we get knots, so to say, in our back or our hips or our psoas, different muscle groups um, that we use a lot. So it's difficult to like dig out a um, knot in your back, so to say. So a lacrosse ball comes really in handy to help you do that. Um, yourself. So I actually like to freeze them. I keep it in the freezer so that when you put it on it feels it, it's nice and cold. The ice will help um, bring down some inflammation. So what you're going to do, um, lesser pressure, you would do it against the wall. To increase the pressure, you do it down on the floor. So a lot of people stress or are working at your desk a lot. You get some um, tight traps, um, so you're feeling some tension in your traps and up into your neck. Another common place is in between your shoulder blades. So what you can do is you put the ball against the wall and you're going to press through your back and kind of navigate based on your pain. So when you have a certain set tender spot, a lot of times we'll feel pain in our shoulder or it's radiating down our hand. It's coming from a knot in your mid back. So there will be a point where you Ow, you hit it, it doesn't necessarily feel great, okay? But tension and release, myofascial release, you wanna push into that spot and then kind of work around it a little bit. So one thing you can do, you can move your shoulder, you move your arm to the left and the right to get your shoulder blade to move around and you're gonna feel little cranks, crinkles, cracks all the above. And like I said, it doesn't necessarily always feel good while you're doing it, but it will help release that knot to help prevent the pain. So like for me, I get a knot in my trap all the time. So when I'm doing push-ups, I feel it in my shoulder as I'm trying to push and it prevents me from pushing because it runs down my hand. So when I have that flaring up, I tend to spend some extra time with my lacrosse ball. So again, just working around, digging kind of in there and, not, and doing it on the wall will be less pressure. If you want to increase the pressure, you're going to go down onto the floor and you can put it on the ground and your whole body weight is going to go on top of it. And this is going to, again, probably not to feel so good, but when you hit that spot, oh, there it is. Try to move that shoulder around, work it out. So you're basically trying to release the knot yourself with the pressure of the ball. Okay, so not feeling too hot when you hit it. Ooh, take a deep breath, breathe in, exhale out and let yourself sink into it, okay? And this can be done also. Common place that people feel a lot of pain is in those hip flexors or your psoas. You can kind of lean on it here. And for me, oh my gosh, I have the tightest hips. I am laying on this ball right now and I can feel that all the way in my toes, <laughs> okay? So working around, I'm digging into my glute medius, trying to get it to release. And when I find that sweet spot, Right there, kind of just lay there, let my body weight sink down into it, try not to fight it, okay? And that will help release my hip flexor. Um, another thing that you can do, you can take two of them and you can put them inside a sock. That's a great way to lay on top of it to roll out your um, trapezius, your shoulder muscles here, because we get so tight. So you put two of them in a, in a sock together and then lay flat on top of it and just let those shoulders relax. Um, and again, freezing it. I, that's my little secret. Don't, it's not probably professional advice. I don't know if it helps anymore or not, but it does feel good that it's cold for me and I like to use it that way. All right. Now, again, if you guys have some serious pain and you're not sure if it's a knot and, it's, and this ball is really not helping at all, definitely see your doctor, get your injuries checked out. But this can be something common, something simple. You can work in after your workout to try to help um, relieve those sore, those tense, those tight muscles as you stay balanced with your workout routine. All right, guys, you can get these on Amazon in some small packs. They're really inexpensive. I hope this little tip helps you for your working out at home. See you guys later. Bye.